to bowl first. It will be shoot to open the bowling here. No slips in. And there's no run off the outside edge of Winfield Hills bat. Taking them on this time. Winfield Hill over the top of mid on. And we've got our first boundary. Impressive stuff off shoot. Strikers. Takes pace off again. She goes through with the shots. Plenty of hang time, but one bounce and over the rope. Despite the best efforts of Barsby, she didn't stand a chance. If I'm not back there again, that's OK. Gets one to pull and go after, and she gets it fine. Circuit. Width on offer for Rodrigues. Punched away for four. Vulvart didn't stand a chance down there at deep third. In the air this time, and caught. Snaffled by McGrath, and there is the breakthrough. The understanding that exists here is important. Straight back down the ground. Nancy, that kind of shot too often, but very effective. To the youngster, Capsty, and no slip in. Might have been a chance to get on the end of that as the edge was found, and really awkward for the South African Vulva. Gets there on the full and stands and admires her own work there onto the hill from Capsy. As well, here's Barsby with the cap on. And Capsy tries to take her down first up and one bounce over the rope for four. You're in hotel rooms. Winfield Hill holding her shape straight back over the head of Wellington who switched ends. <laughs> uh, one point, two-ish. <laughs> In the air, but safe and in the gap as well. Desperate effort. But yeah, I suppose spending spending a bit extra time in the gym. Um, oh yeah, that's <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I saw a ball travel over the rope. Um, yeah, I suppose a bit of extra time in the gym is always always going to help. So yeah, we've still got a few games to go. So hopefully find a bit of rhythm. We can get a few wins on the board as a team. And as well, so she'd be a bit conflicted if there's a bruise. Pass McFarlane and racing away again. Full value for that shot. Clever batting by Capsi, who's closing in on a half century. Shot. Lifted over the top of McGrath. And one bounce over the rope again. The 100 is up for the Stars in the 13th over. A big total brewing here. Busby being matchup based. Oh, balls there! Capsi falls short of a maiden 50 in the WBBL. But it's all about the talent. That's the short side on the offside for Sutherland here. Gives herself room. It's gone straight up. Who wants it? Shoot gets there. A caught and bold. And the surge brings an early wicket. Could be an option. It is Flint off who goes aerial on the offside first up. And she's four off one. <laughs> you picked it, Speedy. <laughs> Flint off goes in if a wicket is lost. Goes again and pierces the field for four more. Her strike rate in the power surge this season. Likes to take the pace off. And in the air over the offside. And that should race away as well. Winfield Hill closing in on the half century. Straight back to Dotton, who takes the catch. Makes it look so easy. And another Stars batter falls just short. This isn't good. <laughs> Garth finds the gap. Good luck stopping that. You need to get 163 to win on average. That'll help. It's clean bold. Katie Mack has had a tough day in the field so far. Ooh. Darcy Brown met by Flint off and it sails over the rope. What a little cameo this is turning into. 21 off seven. Now the pull shot again. She loves it there. And six more. Too tough for Patterson this time. It's an expensive over. 14 off it already. Good tactic. That has been hit so hard. In the gap as well. 34 off 11. She won't be on strike at the start of the final over though. Chance to nudge up towards 180 if they can get it right. Shoot slows it down. Enough on it to clear the offside. There's one of those boundaries. The short boundary on the offside. Running hard here, looking for two. Do they take on the arm of Patterson? They do. Sacrifices herself, Kim Garth, to get Flint off on strike. 
That is selfless cricket. Winds up again, and they'll run the first one hard once more. It goes right through for four. One ball remaining, a six to make it the fastest ever. 50, a big chance here. Well struck and over. History is made by Tess Flintoff. Freddie Flintoff, absolutely phenomenal. 51 not out of 16 balls. The fastest 50 in WBBL history with six balls to spare. And there's a slip in first up. Dotton on strike, and look at that Ooh. shape. First up. Dotton. Oh, caught Annabelle Sutherland. Reeled it in so casually and brilliantly, and it's a big wicket. Looks to in get inventive here and pulls off the shot she's after there. First boundary for Katie Mack. Well, it works out for Volvart and bounces away for a boundary. She needed that. Two off eight before. And that's the class of that player. Volvart, that would a clear. Fastest ever 50, and she's like, eh? <laughs> Volvart again. right where she wants it protection but good luck stopping that hit so well against the renegades in that win in the melbourne derby tosses it up a full toss first up and mac does not miss out for the strikers the ball kept on following her and mac good enough to improvise that races away that's what she's after Sutherland has been cleared, and that's four up inside the circle. And goes again against Flintoff here, and that's four more. She's become the fifth striker. Now the pull shot on display, and that'll bring another boundary. Katie Mack finding her four. Good looking pull shot. Oh, oh. remarkable! Brilliant catch at mid-wickets to get rid of Vulvart. They gave her one life, but this time Maloney holds on to a specky. She, do you think she's sitting there thinking 15 balls? Come on, 15 <laughs> yeah. balls. Doing the maths on it. <laughs> That's deft touch again from Mac. Oh, bowls her! Really tossed it up. McGrath couldn't jam down in time. The captain is gone cheaply. One hit away from 50 here, Mack, but she's hit it straight to the fielder. Day up inside the circle, and the first ball of the power surge brings a wicket. Does Penna go after it from the first ball? Maloney dragged it down, and that's an easy boundary. Off the mark with a six. Got hold of that one. About 14 runs required per over now. Patterson gets right underneath it and clears the fielder. That cow corner, a much needed six. To keep them in the hunt. Goes back over the bowler's head this time. And that'll scoot away for four more. Oh, that's even better. Six more from Patterson. 16 off the first three balls of the Sutherland over. Flicked away off the bottom edge of the bat. Tough here for Garth. Has to give up the chase, and they needed a boundary in this over. They get it. Strikers are in front. Can you believe that on the score worm <laughs> at the moment? Stars for 125 at the same stage. Oh, nearly flying effort again from Sutherland, but it's over the rope for another boundary. The Stars have certainly been better in that area today. Patterson gets the bottom hand involved, and so too did Maloney. Another spectacular catch. Oh, bowls her right through the legs. It's a nutmeg, if you like, from Sutherland to get rid of Wellington. And the job just about done here for the Stars. Two three overs, bowling in the power play as well. Penner needs to hit a stack of sixes. How does she start? She's got one of them. How many more? Five? And 
Flicked away into the gap for four more. So it's an expensive over, but it can afford to get expensive now for the Stars. So keep them close in that top four. Penner tries to go big again. A little too much elevation. And fittingly, Flintoff has a say in the final over. Batting left-handed here. Final delivery of the game. Struck straight to the fielder. And Winfield Hill celebrates. A much-needed win for the Stars. Five in a row against the Strikers. They wish that they could play them every week.